Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pathology which we are doing from medium robins and today we are going to discuss a very important topic thalassemia. In your clinical practice mein, you will definitely encounter thalassemia patients uh, multiple times obviously and this is also very important for your examination purposes. They are basically uh, a group of disorder, uh, thalassemias is the word they have used and they are inherited disorders which are caused by mutations in globin genes of the hemoglobin that decrease the synthesis of alpha or beta globin. You know that hemoglobin ki composition is that it contains an iron portion which is known as heme and the protein portion is known as globin. Now globin has different types of protein chains. Hoti hai isme. Alpha and beta are mutated. Hai, so in protein chains ki mutation ki wajah se jo altered protein banega yani uh, normal alpha or normal beta nahi honge so that is then known as thalassemia and decreased synthesis of one globin results not only in the deficiency of hemoglobin but also in red cell damage that is caused by precipitation um, of uh, the altered ratio between the normal and the abnormal globin gene so um, hemoglobin will come hoga and there will also be destruction of the red blood cell and both of these things will obviously lead to anemia and this is the topic that we are discussing now different causes of anemia the mutations that cause thalassemia are particularly common in Mediterranean African and Asian regions in which malaria is endemic so there is an important link with malaria as with the sickle cell hemoglobin it is hypothesized that globin mutations associated with thalassemia protect against falciparum malaria. So, this malaria ka association is important, hai, hai guys? Pathogenesis hota is kya hai disease mein? Aapko uh, main maine defect to bata diya ki there is decreased synthesis of alpha or beta uh, chains of the hemoglobin because of a mutation. A diverse collection of alpha globin and beta globin mutations underlines thalassemia. So, man, so many mutations have been identified. And uh, these mutations are by and large autosomal co-dominant conditions. As described previously, adult hemoglobin, or which we call hemoglobin A, bhi kehte hai, it's a tetramer composed of two alpha chains and two beta chains. So, I was talking about that hemoglobin is in red blood cell and there is a heme portion hai, which is composed of iron and then the globin portion which contains alpha and beta. So, uh, adults, mein, the majority of the hemoglobin is the hemoglobin A which contains two alpha chains and two beta chains. Okay, The alpha chains are encoded by two alpha globin genes lying in tandem on chromosome number 16 so that's the position for alpha and chromosome 11 is the position for beta uh, globin genes the clinical features vary widely depending on a specific combination of the mutated alleles there are so many different types of mutations which are known homozygous heterozygous and different locus key mutations or on sub clinical impacts per different hai. we have told we will talk about this table but let's first uh, classify these thalassemias into two broader categories the first one is known as beta thalassemia and then the other one is known as alpha thalassemia we'll talk about them one by one so beta thalassemia first as the name indicates this is mutation associated with the beta globin chains okay so mutations associated with beta thalassemia fall in two categories number one uh, be not in which no beta globin chains are produced so that's obviously a very dangerous one okay and then there is a b positive in which so stay positive in which there is reduced beta globin chain but there is still some uh, detectable beta globin so obviously if i ask you which one is the worst b not is the worst okay right Sequencing of beta thalassemia genes has shown more than 100 types of uh, causative mutations, a majority consisting of single base changes. So these are single uh, nucleotide polymorphisms, not polymorphism, rather uh, mutations because they are causative mutations which cause beta thalassemia. Persons inheriting one abnormal allele have beta thalassemia minor. You know, for every gene, we have uh, one allele coming from father and one from mother. So if one of the allele is defective, that is beta thalassemia minor. And uh, it is also known as beta thalassemia trait, which is uh, asymptomatic or mildly symptomatic. Okay, Most people inheriting two B naught or B positive alleles have beta thalassemia major. So, aksar many students will say that they uh, attribute uh, beta thalassemia minor and major to the presence of uh, B naught or B positive. Okay, sir, if B naught is this beta thalassemia major and B positive is this minor, it is not like that. B naught or uh, B positive, these attribute towards if there is no globin chain 
प्रोडक्शन सो म्यूटेशन ऐसी है कि जिससे कोई ग्लोबिन चेन बनेगी नहीं अब वी हैव टू क्रोमोसोम्स ना सो वी हैव लाइक वन कॉपी हेयर एंड वन कॉपी देयर फ्रॉम फादर एंड मदर सो अगर दोनों पोजीशन पर वी हैव बी नॉट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दैन दैट सर बीटा थलसीमिया मेजर और अगर दोनों पोजिशन पर बी पॉजिटिव है दैन अगेन दिस इज बीटा थलसीमिया मेजर लेकिन अगर म्यूटेशन सिर्फ एक ही जगह है एक ही अलील पर है दूसरी अलील नॉर्मल है एब्सोलूटली वाइल्ड टाइप अलील तो दिस इज दैन नोन एज बीटा थलसीमिया माइनर सो सिंपली इफ इट्स होमोजाइगस म्यूटेशन दैन मेजर एंड इफ इट इज वन अलील दैन माइनर ओके नाउ मेजर पेशेंट्स जो हैं दे ऑब्वियसली हैव यू नो सीवियर डिसऑर्डर एज कम्पेयर टू द माइनर डिसऑर्डर इन कंट्रास्ट विद एल्फा थैलसीमिया जो भी थोड़ी देर में हम डिस्क्राइब करेंगे जीन डिलीशन रेयरली अंडर लाए बीटा थैलसीमिया सो डिलीशन इज नॉट द फिनोमिना म्यूटेशन इज द फिनोमिना इन बीटा थैलसीमिया ओके सो ऑब्वियसली यहाँ तक की बात आसान थी कि अगर बीटा ग्लोबिन प्रोटीन कि जो जीन है इफ दैर इज म्यूर एरियड दैट बीटा थैलेसीमिया दो तरह की म्यूटेशन हो सकती हैं ऐसी म्यूटेशन जिसे बिल्कुल ग्लोबिन चेन नहीं बनेगी दैर इज बी नॉट एंड ऐसी म्यूटेशन जिसे थोड़ी बहुत बनेगी दैर इज बी प्लस ओके इफ वन अलील इज डैमेज दैन बीटा थैलेसीमिया माइनर इफ बोथ ऑफ दैम आर डैमेज या म्यूटेटेड दैन बीटा थैलेसीमिया मेजर Now the mutations responsible for beta thalassemia are diverse and disrupt beta globin synthesis in several different ways. The most common mutation lead to abnormal RNA splicing, where others fall in the beta globin gene promoter region or coding region. There are so many different types of mutation. I have told you that about hundred different types of mutations have been identified. Even more than that, some of them are in the promoter region of the gene. Some of them alter the splicing of the gene. So different sort of mutation profile. The specific nature of mutation determines whether the outcome is a B uh, not or a B positive. Defective synthesis of beta globin in beta cell thalassemia contribute to anemia by two major mechanisms. So, if beta globin chain is not there, then how will anemia happen? Number one, there is inadequate hemoglobin formation, or hemoglobin is less, so obviously uh, it is going to cause a microcytic, hypochromic type of red blood cell, and thus anemia. And then the other one is by allowing the accumulation of unpaired alpha globin chain, which form toxic precipitates that severely damage. the membranes and thus rupturing of the red blood cell so hota ye hai ke red blood cell mein aapke paas do alpha aur do beta chains maujood hoti hain usually normal person ke hemoglobin e ki ye composition hai protein chains ki so ab suppose beta chain nahi hai beta chain is a very small amount because beta thalassemia hai to alpha chain is present in excess so alpha chains will precipitate with each other aur is precipitation ki wajah se red blood cell rupture hoga so do issues important hain number 1 there will be um, reduced hemoglobin formation and therefore uh, small red blood cells and anemia and low hb count and the other problem will be precipitation of the other uh, globin chain so if it is a beta thalassemia alpha globin chains will precipitate and they will destroy the red blood cell and there will be hemolysis a high fraction of uh, uh, erythroid precursors are so badly damaged that they die by apoptosis and this is very very common and therefore the blood cells are being produced but this is ineffective erythropoiesis because the red cells which are being produced do not contain normal hemoglobin Okay, ineffective hematopoiesis has another uh, untoward effect. It is associated with an inappropriate increase of the absorption of dietary iron. Because increase erythropoiesis or ye anemia ko overcome karne ke liye, to iron bahut zyada absorb ho raha hota hai, or it can lead to iron overload. The increased iron absorption is caused by inappropriately low hepcidin because iron is then taken care by hepcidin. So if you have more iron in the body, hepcidin reserves go low. Okay. so this is all that you have to remember about beta thalassemia if you look at this chart so beta thalassemia can be of major category minor category sometimes they also classify an intermediate form so major is obviously homozygous it can be b not b not it can be b plus b plus even it can be b not b plus so all these combinations if it is homozygous yani dono alleles per mutation hai then it's a major aur yahan dekhen yahan pe one of the allele is mutated b not but the other one is wild type This one is B plus, but the other one is wild type. If there is only one allele involved, it's beta thalassemia minor. Clinical features obviously major के ज़्यादा severe होंगे, and it may require transfusion. Okay, and at molecular level, mainly point mutations that lead to defect in the transcription or splicing of the beta globin messenger RNA. So, beta thalassemia major की सारी ये चीज़ें आपको याद होनी चाहिए. That's super duper important concept. Okay. Next, we have to talk about alpha thalassemias. Obviously, this has to deal with the alpha chains. 
Unlike beta thalassemia, alpha thalassemia is caused mainly by deletion involving one or more alpha globin genes. So here it was more mutation. In alpha thalassemia, it's more about deletions. The severity of the disease is proportional to the number of globin genes that are deleted. For example, loss of a single globin gene produces a silent carrier state. However, if multiple genes are uh, deleted, then it is so badly distorted that there is no oxygen delivery capacity. With loss of three alpha globin genes, there is a relative excess of beta globin and beta will then, uh, you know, obviously precipitate. Excess beta globin and gamma globin chains form relatively stable B4 and gamma four tetramers known as HPH and HB BART. So if uh, this is a this is the combination, look at alpha to henina, so beta chain will make four chains and gamma will make four chains. So if beta four chains are present, it's called hemoglobin H. And if uh, gamma four chains are present, this is hemoglobin B. And this is only happening because red blood cell may charge chains to honey and normally do alpha or do beta hote hai. So ab alpha chains to ban nahi rahi. To do beta or do beta apas mein milke four beta bana lete hai. And this is called hemoglobin H. Ya agar gamma excess mein hai, to do gamma or do gamma milke four gamma bana lete hai. And this is then known as hemoglobin BART. Okay. And uh, they are less toxic to the cell membrane as compared to this one. Here, beta thalassemia, mein, there was no beta chain and alpha chain was making the precipitate. This was toxic to the cell membrane. Uh, these are less toxic to the cell membrane. So this causes less membrane damage uh, than the free alpha. So beta thalassemia, mein, alpha chains precipitate karti hai, more toxic to the cell membrane. So remember this point. Okay. Unfortunately, is uh, this point ki wajah se because destruction of the red blood cell kam hoga. I mean, kya na, bilkul khatam ho jaye, kam hoga. So erythropoiesis ineffective. Ye wala pura cycle jo hai. Chunki red blood cell rupture nahi ho raha, to ineffective erythropoiesis bhi zada accelerated nahi hoti. Okay. Unfortunately, both hemoglobin H and hemoglobin BART have abnormally high affinity for oxygen. Now here is the problem. If they have high affinity for oxygen, they will not be happily delivering oxygen to the tissues. So red blood cell may oxygen hogi, but for tissues ko nahi mil rahi hogi. So tissues will be kind of hypoxic. Okay. No, right, okay. Uh, further, we have to carry this forward. Achha, diagram mujhe aap se discuss karni hai. Is diagram ki taraf thodi mein wapis aata hu. But let's first talk about the clinical features. Beta thalassemia trait, trait ka matlab ye heterozygous condition, and alpha thalassemia trait are usually asymptomatic. There is usually only a mild microcytic hypochromic anemia because in may ek gene wild type hoti hai, functional hoti hai, ek mutated hoti hai. So that's kind of uh, mild symptoms, okay? However, if this is a major uh, beta thalassemia uh, manifests postnatally as hemoglobin fetal synthesis diminishes. Uh, uh, HBF uh, synthesis come uh, jaise hoti hai. So, ab hemoglobin A banne ka time aara hota hai na. Kuch harse ke baad, do char, panch mahine ke baad. So, hemoglobin A ki synthesis to defective hai. Kyunke beta thalassemia major hai. So, this is the time when the patient has, uh, you know, problems. Growth retardation. And they are sustained by blood transfusion. Inko dini padhti hai. Because any meth na severe hota hai. With transfusions alone, survival into the second or third decade is possible. But, uh, transfusion related complications both and there is systemic iron overload mukhtalif tissues mein iron jama hona shuru ho jata hai secondary hemochromatosis and all these are complications of uh, blood transfusion when feasible hematopoietic stem cell transplantation has been tried but this is not still the mainstay of the treatment Achha, hemoglobin h disease is a is a variant of uh, alpha thalassemia you know this um bhi humne baat ki thi, hemoglobin H ki just uh, beta chains tetrad bana leti hai. so this condition and beta thalassemia intermediate are not as severe as major obviously this is an intermediate condition okay now the diagnosis of beta thalassemia major can be strongly suspected on clinical grounds hemoglobin uh, ek to ye ki patient aega with anemia with jaundice and all these things and then you perform hemoglobin electrophoresis pehle to aapne cbc karwaya to aapko hemoglobin counts bahut low mile and the findings in the cbc followed by hemoglobin electrophoresis that shows a profound reduction or absence even Kis cheez ki absence? Hemoglobin A ki. Yane alpha or beta chains ka jo 2 alpha and 2 beta ka tetrad tha, that is not present. Okay? And there is more hemoglobin F for example or sometimes you also find hemoglobin H or barred hemoglobin. Hemoglobin A2 levels may be normal or they may uh, actually be increased. Similar but less severe changes are noted in patients with beta thalassemia intermedia. So major may full-blown symptoms bilenge or obviously uh, intermedia or minor may come.
Prenatal diagnosis of beta thalassemia is challenging but can be made in specialized centers by DNA analysis. In fact, thalassemia was first disease diagnosed by DNA-based testing, opening the way for the field of molecular diagnostics. The diagnosis of beta thalassemia minor is made by hemoglobin electrophoresis. Just may electron, just may jo electrophoresis ke zariye different molecular weights ke zariye you identify different bands and different types of hemoglobin. Okay, so hemoglobin. If uh, electrophoresis is done, so typically it uh, shows hemoglobin A, which um, has alpha ki do and beta ki do chains. Hoti hai. And uh, obviously, if it's a thalassemia case, beta thalassemia, for example, so there will be HbH, uh, hemoglobin BART. So hemoglobin electrophoresis is obviously a very important test for identifying, uh, you know, um, these thalassemias. अच्छा जी अब एक लास्ट बात रह गई है आपने इस पूरे डिस्कशन में एक चीज नोट की कि इफ वी हैव हेटरोजाइगस सिचुएशन इट्स थैलेसीमिया माइनर है ना एंड इफ इट्स अ होमोजाइगस इट्स थैलेसीमिया मेजर सो कजन मैरिजेस पे मुझे एक कमेंट करना है कि इन द फैमिली इफ द म्यूटेशन इज रनिंग एंड दैट्स अ मेल एंड दिस इज द फीमेल कजन टू द पेशेंट नाउ इन सर्टेन रिलीजियंस कजंस कैन नॉट सिंपली मैरी बट इन सर्टेन रिलीजियंस दे कैन स्टिल मैरी सो इफ दे मैरी इफ दिस इज अगर ये मेल है द मेल कंटेन्स अ म्यूटेशन एंड अ फीमेल कंटेन्स अ म्यूटेशन देयर चांसेस दैट द बेबी विल बी होमोजाइगोट फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर म्यूटेशन अगर आप नॉन कजन मैरिजेस हों और एक में म्यूटेशन है भी और दूसरे में म्यूटेशन नहीं है सो द चांसेज आर दैट द बेबी बॉन्ड विल बी हेट्रोसाइगस इवन इफ द म्यूटेशन इज कैरिड अवे तो वट डू यू थिंक कजन मैरिजेस ये एक स्टेटमेंट यूज किया जाता है मेडिसिन में दे हैव अ टेंडेंसी टू प्रेसिपिटेट होमोजाइगस कंडीशन ओके एंड थेरासीमिया इज वन ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स नाउ वी हैव टू गो थ्रू दिस पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम एंड देन वी डन विद थेमिया टॉपिक सो सी वॉट्स यूजली हैपिंग के नॉर्मली वट हैपन्स के वी हैव नॉर्मल रेड ब्लड सेल प्रोडक्शन बट इफ दिथ्रोपोइस इज एब नॉर्मल इसका मतलब ये है कि एडल्ट हिमोग्लोबिन नहीं है वी डोंट हैव टू अल्फा टू बीटा बट देर इज नाउ सम म्यूटेशन से फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज रिड्यूज बीटा ग्लोबिन सेंथेसिस और एल्फा ग्लोबिन सेंथेसिस अगर बीटा की सेंथेसिस डिफेक्टिव है दैन दिस इज वॉट वी कॉल द बीटा थैलेसीमिया नाउ बीटा थैलेसीमिया विल बी और एल्फा थैलेसीमिया देर विल बी डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ रेड ब्लड सेल देर विल बी एनीमिया योर बोन मेरो विल बी एक्टिवेटेड एरेथ्रोपोइ is will be there it will be ineffective erythropoiesis because even if the new blood cells are being produced they are thalassemic they have defective alpha or beta chains beta thalassemia mein ineffective erythropoiesis is more uh, as compared to the alpha thalassemia obviously there is anemia there is tissue hypoxia erythropoietin release from the kidneys and uh, this diagram is actually self explanatory because of uh, increased erythropoiesis we tend to uh, absorb more and more iron into the body and this gets deposited into heart and you know there is systemic iron overload leading to secondary hemato uh, chromatosis so we need to understand all these things okay then there may be precipitation of the remaining hemoglobin chain so for example if there is beta uh, thalassemia the remaining alpha will precipitate and this precipitated alpha uh, protein chains will damage the uh, red blood cell and this can lead to hemolysis and further anemia and there are other sites jahan pe erythropoiesis shuru ho jati because the body is in the state of anemia and body tries to make blood as much as the body can okay so that's all about the thalassemias we'll see each other in the next video very soon take care of yourself